So I'm doing the video today on lawnmower blades. I'm just kidding. I don't know why they did that. You guys know what this is? Well, in case you're wondering, that's not one of these. Those things. I don't know why John Deere only gives you one of them, but that's just kind of ridiculous and stupid, I think. So, this video I'm going to put this one on, which that's going to be the simplest, I think. Um, I might even raise these up. I think I might do that if I can get that off. Um, raise them up one. In fact, I don't know if you can raise them up. Um, I don't know what the other holds for then. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it on the way it's supposed to. Um, <coughs> so, on top of that, which I might pull this outside to do it because I don't think I want to do it on the wet concrete floor. Yeah, those are weights. Those are weights for these tires. Um, because we're going to be, I guess, getting a box blade pretty soon. So I figured we'll get wheel weights too, just to help it out. You guys can see the damage. Um, I think from what it sounds like, we're going to get a 54 snowblower for next year. Just get a new one. Stop fucking around with this thing. I mean, we've done, we've done so much to it. So, yep. Yeah. Let me unbox that and see what instructions we have to take. Actually, I'll probably do this first. This actually might be the easiest, so let me get a wrench, and we'll do this first. Okay, so this takes a 11 millimeter uh, wrench to do the job, or socket. What I'm going to do is obviously take it out of the package. Don't it right on the floor. It comes with the already screws, and I think the way they do that is the screws on the outside. Looks like it probably goes one through the top hole. And then just hand tighten them for now. So it's going to be a John Deere video today, just putting stuff together. Get the wrench on there. Maybe it's 11. It's actually nice and tight. Hopefully my head's not in the way. Just like that, I think. Yeah, that looks exactly like it. Well, one looks newer, obviously. Let's get a shot. Yeah. Cool. All right. Now, I don't think that one has a part number anymore. No, it doesn't. Um, I don't know how you can raise them up like that. I don't know what the other hole is for. Um, but, yeah, I don't know why John Deere gives you one drift cutter. I don't understand. That's ridiculous. Um, reason why I bought that one because I bought the uh, weights and everything on eBay because they were $80 in free shipping. The That piece of metal right there was $40, but I also saved $30 because of eBay's spring thing they're doing, so I used that up, and uh, it's already expired when you see the video. But, um, yeah, and uh, you can see the... Uh, you can see that more clearly, like a lot more clearly. <laughs> uh, and and it's it's coming apart on the bottom side too. I noticed that the other day. There's a hole there, so that this whole thing is rusting apart. Um, the good thing is these are compatible with the 54 blower, so maybe I'll just take the new one off if the one comes with the one. Which I don't know why it does that. It's so dumb. Um, but yeah, I think she's had her life, at least the snowboarder has. I mean, it's gravel driveway, so I mean, I can't really blame it that much. Yeah, yep, well, there's even holes up there, too. <laughs> okay, 
So the next thing is I'm going to figure out the weights. Yeah. Look at that. He's so strong. Weight training certified. You need anything move? Just go call him. Yeah, I know. Don't get me started on that. You want me to move the car out of the way? No. I left a message for the sales guy at John Deere regarding the box plate. Okay. That's all I wanted. It. All right. So now. I know, isn't it lovely? Alright, so where's the other nut though? Oh, it's on that side. Did the other cutter get wet? Uh, get bent? What's that? Did the other cutter get bent? No, it, 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 it never had one. Oh, yeah. yeah, this they, oh. they only had one on that side. Oh, okay. So I added this one. All right. This is such a sloppy workplace, Chris. Yeah, I know. You know what? I got a feeling he's going to call Roberts again and complain about him. Because I would. Like, freaking hell. They can't. That's just retarded. You know, when you when we bring a product in for service, you don't need to fix it. No! Yeah, this is not going to be the fun one. But for some odd reason, I'm missing bolts. Yeah, you're telling me you got this thing freaking put on the first time perfectly. I'm just trying not to mess with the valve. Okay, there's one other side. Okay, my fingers. Durr. Durr. You don't need fingers. What the hell are you talking about fingers? Those are really hit this on. <laughs> no, it's been the inside. I see the valve. Alright, take it out. I'm supposed to not crash. The valve's right there. Yeah, I know. I see that, but I can't see it now. Okay, now turn it down. Somebody's going to scream at you. I get it. Looks right. I don't know about this part, though. But the valve is still there. Okay, let me see how in the hell I'm going to reach down here without stepping in Mojo's shit that he left in the goddamn garage. Alright, where is that hole I'm going to get to? Guys, we're not doing this to John Deere specs because for some reason they decided to throw the X500 and 700 series right out the window. So I'm doing it the way I think it should be done. You got this on the first try. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to switch it. Hold that on the other side. Now let me see past you. Yeah, huh? Oh my! Oh <laughs> by the way, it might fall out. Uh, Oh, by the way, it might fall out.
We'll move now that you've completely ruined everything. <laughs> Okay, do you want to pull this back out? No, no, pull back out! Well, I'm not going to try to thread the needle, Chris. If you want to do that, you oh. go right ahead. Did I already know? Alright, let me move some shit around here. Let me get to Yeah! Quick. How about you just here? Get me a lighter and some matches. Move this shit out of the way. Get that out of the way. Move this big cow out of the way. Just bent that again. Oops. You almost got your foot crushed. Were you recording? Yeah. Then you probably got it on video. <laughs> Sorry. No feet. No feet were harmed in this making of this video. I think. All right. So I guess now I gotta get underneath here completely. Wait, let me see if I can catch it. Ah. All right. Hang on. Get right there. Okay, try it again. Ah! Fuck. Jesus. That was really good Alright, back to my earlier predicament. Mm. Here, I'll, I'll actually... You got this. See, even on the first time, like, you slap the, this side on, like, Because easily. I am a professional. Oh. <laughs> you should learn. Don't drop it on my nuts. Chris, that's why people are HVAC certified, electrical certified, and that's why people have jobs. <laughs> I'm diluting the workforce if I try to do things on my own. People gotta feed their families. Children in Africa are starving? No, I'd say they live in deserts. They live for fertile lands. Alright, is it in again? Yeah, it's out. I mean, is it sticking through? That's what I mean by it's out. Oh, okay. Well, so that doesn't fall again. Let me decide. Ah. Oh, my ass is wet now. Okay, so let me... Because you have to get on the side again. I will drop this again. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that then. Uh, I just like to hold it. Hold it. Hold. Fuck. Can you have another one? Shouldn't the big one go on first? No. What about the other one? How come the other side had like three? Uh, I don't know. Dummy? I don't know. I guess Green Dealer doesn't know what they're doing. I would not want to kill that just yet. You, Chris. What? You like, you let it on. I like, didn't even screw anything. Well, I mean, that's why diagonal, I said don't let go. It's like diagonal huh? flopping right here. If I let go right now, it would Jesus be so Christ, don't let go. Oh, and, right. You know what? If, and you know what? Those things can break, too, just to let you know. Yeah, so put them on right. Chris. <laughs> yeah. You can't. Hey, you want something broken? Get, let me have it for about five seconds. I'll break it. Yeah. And I won't break it via, via anger. I'll just break it by touching it. Well, now, where my other nuts went, I have no oh freaking idea. Do you understand what a tidy workspace is called? No, I don't. No, because every single time I try to tidy this up, it ends up getting destroyed. By you. Why is it always me? Because it is. Okay, so I have these nuts, and I have the other nuts. So we're going to put some nuts on some more nuts. I'm gonna get monetization. To, actually, I don't have my computer monetized anymore because YouTube's a meanie. Okay. Could always start a Patreon. Yeah. That there. Okay. Now you might see my butt again. Five right, seconds. Okay. I push on that nut. Can you tighten the nut, or just with your fingers? Because I gotta push it back in. Just that we drop our feet again. Ah. Okay, you're tightening on my finger. Oh my God, Chris, move your finger. Okay. If it happens again with the ratchet, guess what? I'm not moving it again. You're gonna, you're gonna have to pull your finger out. Okay, so now we're to the hole. It's the whole top or bottom? Yep. Top? Yep. It's the bottom, yep. Okay, tighten that one then. With what? Oh, I guess you need enough too. Here you go. Should I not have a little washer thing? Uh, well, you should, but I don't know. They always sent me nuts. They always sent me these nuts. And then we'll tighten that thing out, I guess.
you know, the stupidest thing per the instructions, let me stop. The stupidest thing per the instructions is how it wants to remove a lug nut for the X700 series. And it's like, how in the frig do you remove a lug nut with almost no space to access this? I mean, and not only that, the hole patterns Holy don't shit. even line up. All right. So why don't you grab your ratchet and... Hang on, i got to find the hole first. Wait, which one are you doing? I'm doing the top one. So you're over here then. What is this? Last well, piece of the tractor. Well, put the hell the button that popped out. Okay. Tighten it. Okay, yeah, it's on tighten. It's tightening, correct? I mean, yeah. mine's not yeah. this. Well, I mean, I've had to adjust this thing so many times because you've gotten stuck. <laughs> Yeah, somebody had to put their freaking mains Shit. in the way. Ha! Ah! Karma. That's not karma. Alright, you think that's... Is that tight enough in your standards? No. I, I mean, because you will snap these studs off. Okay, you're probably good then. Oh, hammies. They're blazing. Where's these nuts? Oh, that's that's the wheel stud. I mean... I mean What's this thing up here? What? What's this thing? What's what? The Dremel. Oh, that was because somebody decided to need a dog to with a snowblower. So I had to buy a Dremel. Is that someone you? Again? Can you? What the fuck? You're wiggling it around. Well, I know that, but it's not on all the way. Crackhead, let me get it on. I can't get it on. Cocksucker. Okay, now try to tighten it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do you need special education to tighten a nut? Shut the hell up. <laughs> May have to sit on one side. Oh, no, I can sit on there. There we go. Now, okay. now, the next question is, am I holding the right nut? You're, you're probably not. I'll give her one more. Eh, no, one more. There we go. Yeah, because you, so you know who we can blame if these things fall off? You. No, you too. You, tight, you tightened them too. I've done nothing wrong. Oh. Uh, hey, guess what? Guess what we have left over? What? You've got a nut left over. Okay. Here, have the nut. I don't. I don't know what Why? the nut's for. Put it in your pocket. Okay, we're just gonna eat it. <laughs> we don't need that nut. That nut's optional. Yeah. Oh my god. Can I leave your hair cut with this? What? Oh my god. Yeah, you'll give, give me an Indian scalpel method. It's dull. Is it plugged in? It's dull? Yeah, you gotta turn it on. Put your finger, when you turn that on, put your finger on, then you'll tell me it's dull. Yeah, it's dull. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Alright. A spoon can be better than that. <laughs> I know somebody that would say that. All right, I'm putting this here. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm going to return back to what I was and doing. we have three more nuts, which I don't think. Oh, the next thing you could do is staples. Can you look around for staples? Because certain some got aggressive opening the boxes, and they kind of threw staples everywhere. I think there's staples somewhere. So yeah, I don't like how those studs are sticking out, but um, yeah, I don't know. Some genius had a tighten stud. Staple. Correct. Is there more staples? I thought there was more staples. So these are the instructions. Uh, got it from the green dealer. I put face links below where you can get it. All right, so I can find. Um. I don't think ours were set in the wide position because I would think if they're set in the wide position, they'd be a lot further out. Um, so, turn the page, you have 200 and 300 series, which we don't want, um, other language, and then you have 400 series, and then, and then you have the 420s, but there's nothing for 500 or 700 series. So... 
This whole diagram I completely threw the hell out and there's a nut on this end that's got a nut, lock washer, and a washer stud space a lock, no, nut lock nut, washer on this side so there's two sets of these squished together um, <laughs> removing stud bolt, I, I just didn't see that you could do that without drilling through the shell um, and of course you have the slot which my brother put on spectacularly um, it is flush, I just wanted him to catch that, but, now for some reason, I've got a funny feeling, see, that, those ones are right, but if you look on the other side, they're not, it's kind of upside down, but, what are you going to do, what are you going to do, um, see, this side's this way, which I think that's just the way they put the wheel on, I mean, I probably could, well, and then the other thing is, if we got to change a tire or anything, we got to pull those off. Um, but let me put the lights back on. So not only do we now have... So now the tire's squatting a little bit, which I like. Um, maybe make the front a little bit too light, but... I don't know. And you know what? Now I'm really curious to... to uh, try it without four-wheel drive because I don't think four-wheel drive on this pavement is too very good for snow blowing. Um, see the one problem with these is that they, you can't get the front wheel weights on this. You probably have to take the tires off and drill a hole through the uh, whole mess of things. Um, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to insert this clip. Um, just test it out. So we got four bolts left over. I think that's probably from um, other tractor makes and models. Another thing I got to order is new hydraulic protectors because they're all rotted out and stuff. So yeah, let's check this baby out. I just put gas in it. I should be able to get it out without him to pick up. Keyword of the day.
Ah, gasoline smell. Mmm. That's how far they stick out. Probably about two inches or so on each side, I would say. Yeah. I think I'd give you one of these videos just to... Because we're, do, we're doing something, finally. Um, box plate can be on the back. And then the front suitcase weights will move up front. Um, I like these for the simplicity of it. The cost was pretty decent. They were $80 in free shipping. Um, it was funny because when the UPS man dropped them off the other day, um, yesterday, he's like, Man, so what'd you order, bricks? I'm like, yep, we ordered bricks. That's exactly what we did. We ordered bricks. So, yeah. I'm pretty curious for the box blade. See how that's going to work. Um, for some reason, I don't see this model anywhere online. I mean, I see it in John Deere manuals and Frontier implements. But it's called a uh, John Deere. It's a uh, Frontier BB2048L, which limited, because the limited height can lift on the quick hitch. Or not the quick hitch, the three-point. And I think 48 inches with three tine spikes. And I think that this should handle this should handle it fine. So yep. Yep. So I'm gonna run away. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Stay tuned to the next video and the box splitting series, because that's gonna be a lot of videos.